Hi guys, this is Jenny, and I'm going to do an art journal spread for the Crafters Workshop for April. Uh, I hadn't really intended on making this a, a tutorial, but had started filming it and then really uh, decided that it would be good after I started really getting so many layers on. This is probably the most layered uh, art journal spread I, I think I've probably done yet. and. I really enjoyed the way it came out because I was pretty loose and pretty laid back about it and I didn't really have a plan and sometimes I think when you don't really have a plan and you're not intending to it, it turns out a bit better so um, it seems a little bit random it did take it was over several days because I had to keep coming back to it and there was a lot of driving time in between so it just sort of sat on my desk until I figured out what I was gonna do but um, I knew what I did want to do was to have these colors, the sort of pinks, and then I wanted to have um, use this word hope from one of the uh, new stencils, uh, one of the new letter like word stencils. Um, these are all from the winter uh, release, so they're all brand new and really amazing and lots of fun. Um, neat fun backgrounds and lots of ones that are geared towards different holidays and really intricate um, really intricate stencils that are kind of in line with all of the the sort of adult coloring books that you see these days that have all of the uh, mandala and all of the different itty bitty teeny uh, coloring and everything those are really they're really really um, special so anyway um, I end up using about six or seven stencils I believe throughout this this whole spread so I do um, I do use a lot and um like I said it's pretty layered so I just uh, covered the back with I had already prepped it with gesso and then I covered it with um, gelatos in that sort of a rainbow ombre order and then um, blended them all with water I had taped the spine beforehand to help uh, with any seeping that might happen with the water and this gets pretty uh, it gets pretty wet and full of paint so that was probably a pretty good thing um, I had also bought this recently I bought this tissue paper from Tim Holtz that's um, that really thin thin paper tissue that's it's like a newsprint and it's got butterflies and things on it and I knew I wanted to use that too and it's so transparent the way it came out it almost looks as if the um, it almost looks as if it was down first and then I painted on top of it which um, turned out to be a neat effect so now that um then I have to wait for that to dry so now that that's my paper was dry I go back and this is that tissue paper and I'm going to adhere um, several pieces of it down using a um, this Liquitex matte medium and end up covering the whole page with it even though not all of the page the paper is covered with the tissue so um, I'm gonna glue that down and it is a uh, a nice mat and it doesn't it doesn't seem to pull up as much of the as much of the paint and and medium as like a just the regular Mod Podge does so I think it is better it's um, kind of pricey but it goes a long way I knew I wanted to use the other thing I, I thought I would use are some of the new stencils that have um, some butterflies in it and there's some butterfly wings and or angel wings and um, I couldn't wait to use those too so that's why I, I kind of knew I, I pulled off the pieces of this that had the butterflies on them my son did a um, project at school and he made a market day project and he made um, little duct tape bracelets and so that's the duct tape bracelet I have on there it's, uh, it was leopard print and um, turquoise and I think I may have a couple on during other different parts of the tape so um, it's kind of funny all right once I get that down good I'm going to uh, let that dry again it didn't take too long to dry so I believe it's the same um, just a, a little bit later 
that I come back and um, and start with the stencils. Okay, this large stencil is the doodled pattern. It's it's a 12 by 12, and I used um, a mist. I think it's uh, Dilutions Mist in the turquoise, and just spread sprayed a couple different pieces of it and then used the back of it um, just to add more color. So I'll let that dry first. And then I use the next uh, 12 by 12 is called Life Remembered and it's really neat. It's got lots of, um, I will actually wait for that. I do that in a minute. This one is the um, Time for Love stencil and I just used my finger and some white paint and use it around the um, this sort of clock the outside of it to make little circles around different parts of it and it kind of got mixed up in some of the ink the dye ink so it it kind of tinged some of that paint to be a little bit like a lighter turquoise so I ended up using a lighter turquoise paint and that um, life remembered stencil and just layered and layered and layered these different hearts and um, all these different pieces from it the love that's written in um, in a nice script font and really uh, just kind of went for all different pieces of it. I didn't use it all together as the way it's shown but spread them out, the little, some of the flowers on the corners and once that is all dry and you can see how the layers of the paint underneath kind of the ink kind of come through the paint. I thought it looked pretty neat so once that was dry I used the um, the 6x6 six six stencil this cart postal and um, did some of the watermark and the little text and and some of that part with the with just an acrylic ink and a dauber. These are the angel wings. They're a six by six too and I used a just a white molding paste. I really wanted them to pop out and they did fade a little bit because I didn't apply it too thick but um, and then that, that big one at the bottom is called it's a it's not a six by six, it's about that size, but it's actually a single piece. It's a painted lady sort of butterfly. So that was um, kind of what I was thinking it would be along the spine, like the center of those, and, and one on, some on both sides. So this is the stencil I wanted to use, the Hope. So I uh, just used my finger again and some white paint and just put it everywhere. <laughs> Okay, now that is all of the uh, stenciling, I believe. And once everything is dry, I go back with my watercolor crayons in black. And I really wanted to have a big contrast between the pink and black. And I kind of wanted to make it um, dark, <laughs> not to um, be too depressing. But I really wanted it to be dark and light and then have these this sort of butterfly and, and the, leading up to the angel wings and hope. And um, so I wanted to have these sort of big areas of black that I could use a white pen on later. So between the watercolor crayons and just some um, acrylic paint, I try to pop out some of those um, in between all of those other stencils. And then I use a little bit of other pink and red to kind of just add more contrast in little places there. Those are the Nia color crayons which are wonderful. So I still keep, you know, kind of adding a little bit of black on top of that after it dries out a bit. Then I decide that I wanted even more contrast and so I grab some India ink and drip it down. Uh, and I probably should have thought about this a little bit more. I like the way it turned out but it ran so fast that I really didn't get to have as much of the dripping part as I wanted to on the gold because the black was dripping down too. And I really didn't want it to puddle at the bottom. I kind of wanted it to end somewhere before that. So I kind of go back and forth about this a little bit, whether or not I even really liked it. But I wanted it to be a little bit of black and a little bit of this gold kind of in between all of the the other pieces. So um, I end up dabbing a good bit of that gold off and then kind of going back again. And I mean, I like the way it turned out in the end because I did do a lot of doodling. So um, next time I might just do them at the same time so they can drip together. Or I guess I could have been patient and waited till the black, the India ink was all the way dry. But not patient. So 
after it was all done, I went back and added a lot of doodling with um, a white pen, a gel pen, and some black gel pen, and um, this little tiny acrylic um, hope at the bottom. And that is it. You can see the stencils I used um, in the description, and you can check more out at thecraftersworkshop.com slash blog. Thanks so much for stopping by.